friends and relations who have gone overseas, who have traveled thousands of miles to find a wartime home and a kindly welcome in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and the United States of America. I know you won't forget us. It is just because we are not forgetting you that I want, on behalf of all the children at home, to send you our love and best wishes. My sister is by my side, and we are both going to say good night to you. Come on, Margaret. Good night, children. Good night, and good luck to you all. <laughs> and a round of applause. Yes. Very good. That was the very first time I think you had ever been heard on the radio. Were you very nervous? Uh, I think I was uh, nervous at coming in at the right moment. When she said, come on, Margaret, of course, when you couldn't get it wrong. Was your sister very nervous? I don't think so. And did you rely on your sister very much at that time? Very much, yes. Yes. In what way? Well, I mean, anything she said went. Your sister, I know, was um, very good at uh, maintaining vehicles. Yes, Wasn't she was she a fanny, and she was taught how to drive. Teach you about driving or and She vehicle? taught me how to drive. Everybody said it was a disaster because we'd have a row. We never did. She was very patient. How long did it take you to drive? To learn how to drive. Yes. I spent a week or two. Well, that's very good going. She must have been a good teacher. She was. <laughs> Were you proud of her? Very. Oh, yes. <laughs>